people will uh, say, okay, Mr. Free Speech, like, um, how do you deal with that when you have kids? And I'm like, well, I teach them the most important thing about freedom of speech, which is epistemic humility, which is yes. knowing that in the grand scheme of things, you don't know that much. And all of these sayings, they're about, dude, you're not omniscient. Um, you don't know everything. You can't know everything. Um, and it's also not your place to judge everybody else. Yeah. And, and this is and this is so well sort of like in, in, in social science and neuroscience, kind of like, like the, uh, in psychology, like the illusion of explanatory depth, like all of these kind of like ideas about like how much we overestimate, how much we think we, uh, we actually yes. know and understand. Just for the listenership, the illusion of explanatory depth is we think we know things and we assume we know them all the way down. So if I say to you, you know, hey, do you know how the Electoral College works? And you say, yeah. And I say, hey, can you explain it to me? And you yeah. say, uh, well, actually, hold on. Maybe I'm not clear on this. But we do this with everything where whatever knowledge we have, it's often like a Potemkin village where we, we just see the front piece of the houses and we don't actually know what's behind it, but it's only when we scratch the surface that we realize, oh, I don't actually know that piece. Yeah. The epistemic stretching that's needed yeah. all the time because you simply can't see all the things that you don't know until someone challenges you on it. 